Today on the Dear Wife series, this is episode number two, and we're talking about, Dear Wife, Your Husband Is Not Your Girlfriend. Now, he said, Kings, I know that. I mean, you don't have to tell me that. Well, sometimes you may come across as if he is just one of your girlfriends, meaning that you have certain expectations, you want to have certain conversations, and also him to talk about his feelings the way that your girlfriend's and you talk about your feelings. And so when he does not, you feel disappointed. You feel like he's not sharing his emotions or his feelings with you. And part of that is correct. As we want, you want your husband, and I think it's reasonable to share his, not only his thoughts, but his feelings as well. However, it must be understood that your husband is more wired to share his thinking, his thoughts, than his feelings for many reasons. I've covered some of those on my podcast at Happier Marriage Secrets. And you can go there and listen to some of the podcasts that I've done. And when I've talked about those issues of why the husband who is wired a bit different than you may not go into the area of feelings as, as you do and would like him to do. So it's important to recognize that when you have some things that you want to have a woman's perspective or a woman's kind of um, conversation or, you know, framing of certain things, you want to find another woman to, to have a conversation with, a best friend, your girlfriend, but not your husband. He will hear you out, but don't expect him to be like your girlfriends, right? It is important that you remember that. So when you go to him to talk about certain things and he does not reciprocate the way you're hoping he would, or he doesn't come to you and talk about his feelings as you do and would like him to do. Again, I'm not saying he should not attempt to do that, right? There's a number of reasons I've talked about this on other videos about creating safe space for those conversations, but it's not like him to just up and do those kind of conversations. So it's important to have that in your mind going into your conversations with your husband and into your interactions with him that is not your girlfriend. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So make sure you comment below and let me hear what you are thinking about what I've just shared. And maybe you have some other thoughts or suggestions or a question. I would love to hear that as well. So with that said, I want to thank you for watching and listening to the Dear Wife series as we continue to unpack some things that happen in marriage that a husband or a wife may, may have as expectations or interactions. And I want to clarify some of those things in the Dear Wife series. So with that said, I hope to see you on the next one and make sure you subscribe, please subscribe. And uh, if you like what you're hearing, hit that like, um, just, just click on the like um, symbol. And I again, I appreciate that, okay? Oh, by the way, if you wanna have be notified, you can also click on the notification bell. With that said, God bless you. And I'll see you on the next um, Dear Wife series as we continue our conversation, okay? Looking forward to that.